Hey everybody, Jerb here. Just making a tiny video here about the latest in-game announcement concerning the Boobs in the City, or Come and Gun I guess it's also called, is releasing its own NFTs. I'm genuinely surprised the developers are jumping this so quickly, especially after the immense pushback that EA has been receiving on this exact same topic. As it is, the game is absurdly pay to win. Anyone who's played it knows that if a whale comes up against them, it's like Mike Tyson punching a toddler in a fight. It's just not fair in any way, shape, or form. And I have a feeling this NFT situation will exacerbate that even more. On a side note, I have to laugh. I didn't realize the developers were called Neversoft. <laughs> That's awesome. Well played. Seeing the NFTs be introduced on top of the already infuriating gotcha mechanics to unlock skins and stuff, it, this is very worrisome on the whole. The devs could surprise me and find a way to implement this system that'll be okay and not horrible, but I'm really worried about the whales already having a massive advantage gaining an even more ridiculous advantage over free to players or people who spend money but don't have enough to whale out and still have no chance against those whales in game in the meantime i'll be keeping tabs on this and probably throwing up more update videos whenever i can i signed up for the whitelist via email and I somehow wasn't allowed to vote for any of the girls, which makes me a little bit sad. So at least on video, my favorites are Nemesis, Komoto, Miyuki, and Sagumi. Not that they're my favorite to play as, because, I mean, some of them have some serious weaknesses. If I was just voting for the most powerful, it would be obviously Yili and Catherine. Haley's pretty OP too. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, or not, whatever. Have a good night.